Hello everyone, this is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. So recently I had a 2018 Ford F-150 brought to me that had a check engine light on with code P0299 turbocharger underboost condition in it. And on the test drive, it mostly seemed normal. However, when accelerating, it was just a touch underpowered. And the cause of all this was a faulty TCBY valve. That's a turbocharger bypass valve. And it was stuck open. So a good portion of the boost pressure being created by the turbos was being bled off by the bypass valve. And that's why it was slightly underpowered. And that's what caused the check engine light to come on with code P0299. So this is the faulty valve. And you can see that the diaphragm is pulled in all the way on it. And just to give you a frame of reference, here's a good valve and you can see that that diaphragm is pushed all the way out. This is a normally closed valve. So when the valve does not receive any current from the PCM turning it on, you'll see that the diaphragm is in the closed position. And of course, whenever the valve receives current from the PCM, it will open. Now what I believe was causing this valve to be stuck open was rust buildup on the shaft that the diaphragm rides up and down on. You can see right there in the middle, it's got a little bit of an orange tinge to it. Now I suppose it's possible that this could be repaired by spraying a little bit of penetrating oil on the shaft in the middle there and then exercising the diaphragm back and forth. However, I don't necessarily think that's the best repair. It is probably best just to go ahead and replace it. But sometimes, of course, you got to do what you got to do. The thing's already messed up, so if it doesn't work, well, you know what you need. Just go ahead and replace it with a new one if it doesn't work. Now, you probably already guessed, this doesn't just affect the 2018 Ford F-150 equipped with a 2.7 liter EcoBoost. It affects a lot of Ford EcoBoost vehicles. The 2.7 liter in particular and a 3.5 liter in particular on the Ford Expeditions and also the F-150s. And of course, Ford has been using these particular power plants and those models for years and years now. So it affects a lot of vehicles. And it seems that whenever we get one of these vehicles in with P0299 in it, a stuck open valve is becoming a more and more common point of failure. Now this is more of an informational video, not a how-to video, but I do want to at least show you where this valve is located at and give you a few pieces of information that may help you in the process of removing this valve so that you can check to see if it's stuck in the open position. Okay, now we're looking at the front of the vehicle right here, and I'm going to give you a rough guesstimate as to where this thing is located. It's right about there. Now it's behind that area there on the CAC just below the radiator. You can actually see this thing from the top side as you look down behind the radiator just to the uh, driver's side of the radiator fan motor there. It's right there but it's kind of hard to get to it from the top. So I would suggest accessing this thing from up underneath. Now as you're looking at this thing from up underneath you'll see that just to the left of the CAC on the CAC which is just below the radiator there, there is your valve. And CAC, by the way, stands for Charge Air Cooler, just if you didn't know. It's just another way of saying intercooler. Now, you'll see on the valve, you have an electrical connector. Of course, you need to disconnect it. And I'm sorry, I don't have any footage of how to do that. And then on the valve itself, it's held on by two screws. And both of those screws have 7 millimeter heads on them. Now you'll see that you got this big outlet tube here that goes up to the throttle body and that's kind of hard to work around. So I found that if you have a 10 or 12 inch quarter inch drive extension with a universal joint on it attached to a 7 millimeter socket and then of course a quarter inch drive ratchet, you can actually work around that tube and get those screws out. And once you get the screws removed, of course you can take the valve out. While the valve is out, go ahead and check to see if it's stuck open. If it's stuck open mechanically, then you know you need to replace it or try to repair it. Now one word of caution that I would give you when you're going back together with this thing, don't over torque the screws. You could easily strip off the holes, so do not over torque them. Just be careful. Of course, the installation is reverse procedure, and please note, guys, this isn't a very detailed video as to how to remove this thing and install it. Uh, you really need to have a repair manual present and reference it to make sure that you're doing this correctly and so that you don't mess up anything. 
Now, please don't misunderstand this video. There's actually a bunch of things that can cause this particular code and this particular symptom. This is just one of them. And as always, I would highly suggest that you have a repair manual available so that you can reference its pinpoint test for this particular code to ensure that you don't misdiagnose your vehicle. You guys, as always, please read the entire description found beneath or to the side of this video. I may need to clarify some things about this, and that's where I do that. Also, please read the entire disclaimer at the very end of it. If you have any questions, please ask down in the comments section there. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can, if I can. Also, please like and subscribe. Thank you sincerely.